Hey, what's up? Welcome to CRW Films. I'm Charlie Radio Williams. I love storytelling, filmmaking, film gear, and figuring it all out from scratch. I'm not a filmmaker yet, but I'm growing as one. And if you're not one either, then let's figure it out together. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and let's become filmmakers together. Okay, so we've been writing. Good, good. We're taking notes, keeping things simple, and being as creative as we can while knowing our time. Cool. You've got your Canon T7i, who put that in the script? Can we? You got your DSLR or mirrorless camera, cell phone or tablet, and you're ready to shoot. Cool. Wait. What's that? You're not ready to film? You have a ton of films you need to watch for referencing and notes? Wait, what? And you're not sure which YouTuber's advice you should follow? Oh, oh, come on. And now you're not sure if you have the right gear to film with? Okay, okay, here we go. Let's all step back. Look, here are my three tips for filtering your watched resources. Tip number one, watch and recreate. Now, we're here because we not only love film, we want to write, film, produce, and work on filmmaking together. Cool. Right now though, you've mapped out a list of films that you feel you need to watch before you become a great filmmaker. Now, I'm gonna be super open here, as I too once thought like this, until I started to merge my watch experience with wanting to experience filmmaking. What I mean is, watch a movie, make note. What's that? Yes more writing, all right? Moving on guys, stop being weird. Think about the angles and perspectives used to capture the elements of a scene, the setting, pacing, stillness, and movement of the shot. So my first tip, watch and recreate. Sure, watching a ton of movies to build up your knowledge of film is great, but we're here for more. So don't just watch films in abundance. Study one or two selected films. Take notes on how a scene or two may have been captured and experiment with trying to recreate the shot. Review your process and then repeat. Not only will you have built up that film knowledge you wanted, you'll also have worked towards building up your knowledge of filming from different perspectives and angles. Look at that, you're welcome, cool. Now tip number two, remember, you too are a content creator. YouTube, oh YouTube, you have done so much for us. Hours and hours of content, a massive library of content creators, resources, how to's and what to do's. You're a giant melting pot of entertainment and knowledge. So much so, one can get lost in the sauce of resources provided by your platform. I appreciate you YouTube. With that said, you and I are also working to become filmmakers and content creators in the art of visual storytelling and film. Now, now, I'm not telling you not to watch TikToks or YouTube as these platforms are valuable sources of creativity, inspiration, tutorials, and knowledge. Just always remember that as valuable as your time is, so too is the creative work that you put into writing, filming, and creating. So know your goal because you too are a content creator. Lastly, tip number three, gear doesn't matter. Okay, I know we are revisiting this one, but speaking about YouTube, how many hours have you spent watching content about film gear, cameras, lenses, audio gear, monitors, lights, gimbals, etc. We're not even talking about computers, external devices, or software. I can honestly say I have never fallen for the commercial side of YouTube when it comes to gear. Okay, yeah, I have. So I'm able to speak from experience. When I say gear doesn't matter right now, look, as you grow as a filmmaker, gear and time will matter. What cameras, lenses, lighting, and monitors, etc., will matter is on you as you grow as a filmmaker. I repeat, gear will matter as you grow, but not right now. For right now, you'll buy gear that you want, gear that you need, gear that you use all the time, 
and gear that really you will regret buying. Right now though, as mentioned before, use what you have. And if you need it, then buy it. I repeat, if you need it, then buy it. Sheesh. This isn't Charlie Radio Williams telling you to buy gear. <laughs> That's it for now. Let's continue this discussion in the comments below and share some of your own beginner's tips as we're all in this together. I'm Charlie Radio Williams. You've been dialed in. See you in the next one.